What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video we're going to be talking about iOS 9 Beta 3. So today, July 8th, 2015, Apple went ahead and released iOS 9 Beta 3 to developers and I'm here running it on my iPhone 6 Plus. Finally, um, this was an update that we waited for for a long time of course because uh, lots of bug fixes, not only that, but also for Apple Music, and it was kind of delayed a couple days, it felt like, so now it's finally here, we're going to be taking a look at it. So while there probably are a lot of bug fixes that I just haven't picked up on yet, which come with every new beta release, and this is the third, so it's probably a lot more stable than the first, um, you will notice two new things right here, right off the home screen. Uh, first of all, the default layout of the iOS 9 icons, I've arranged them to make it look like that, um, but also we have finally the new News app, which replaced Newsstand. Newsstand was pulled out of iOS 9 beta 1 um, and it was also pulled out of uh, beta 2 as we were expecting the news app which wasn't ready until iOS 9 beta 3 as you could see right here and I've already set it up and I've begun to use it um, and finally this seems like an app that I can actually use. We weren't expecting to see it until the fall but they're letting beta testers um, actually give it a shot now um, which is pretty cool. So you can see I've already picked a ton of different favorites and I have that all there and there's a nice for you feed very similar to the Apple music feed um, and I like this a lot. This is pretty much like the Flipboard replacement just without the cool um, UI, you know, when you flip um, through a bunch of stuff. But you can see I can just kind of scroll through and pick out an article and just immediately start reading. And it's got this nice layout um, that goes right into the website's uh, actual article. But it's made to look like it's integrated with Apple Music. So it's a really nice UI. It's actually for a first in a beta for it to be in the beta for the first time it's actually not buggy at all it's very smooth and I can see myself definitely using it a lot I'm excited to use the new news app Aside from that, finally, Apple Music is present in iOS 9 Beta 3. As you can see here, I can navigate through all the stuff, uh, such as Connect. Uh, obviously, we have Beats 1 Radio, which was present always in iOS 9 anyways. Uh, we have our new tab, our For You tab. If you want to see, I did a video on an entire uh, first look at Apple Music. I have it up on the channel. And of course, being able to access your own music library. And of course, if you knew the workaround through Siri and being able to actually get your library in before Apple Music was enabled with iOS iOS 9 beta 3. As I said before, the frameworks were enabled, and so if you knew your way around iOS, you could have access to your Apple Music playlist before beta 3. So I'm pretty much used to this already. This is my playlist, um, but now finally I have access to all the Apple Music features, which I have been waiting for, and it also crushed a lot of um, bugs that I was having with that special workaround. It, it wasn't the best, and it only somewhat worked. So I'm happy that finally Apple Music is present. But other than that, I really haven't noticed anything new. Again, there's probably a lot of bug fixes that I just haven't picked up on yet, because I've I haven't had much time to play around with it, but if you guys want to go ahead and get iOS 9 beta 3 or just iOS 9 in general running on your iDevice, you're going to want to make sure you register with UDIDregistrations.com. As you know, I shout them out in just about every video. Um, I will leave a link down in the description um, with my tutorial so you can understand and go through the process of how to download iOS 9 onto your iDevice, and I'll also leave their link in the description um, so you can get your iDevice registered to be running the iOS 9 betas throughout the summer. So go check those links out. But that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.